Hey guys, um, well, I've been in the hospital for a month now and it's given me a lot of time to think and so I've got so much in there going on that I can't put it on the keyboard to write. So I just thought I'd give you all a video. Um, but a lot of you don't know me, so I'll give you a short background on me and where I've come from and everything. So I was born in the UK in Basingstoke in 1987 and then moved to Zimbabwe with my mom just before I think my third birthday or I maybe was three, but she'll correct me. And then lived in Zimbabwe till I was 16. Um, I loved my childhood in Zimbabwe. It was an amazing place, did some amazing things and experienced some amazing things about wildlife, um, stroking lions, playing with lions, picking up lion cubs, riding elephants, seeing great Zimbabwe. And I, did, I went on a lot of holidays with my dad who lived in the capital city. We lived in a city, one of the sec biggest cities in Zimbabwe called Bulawayo. Um, so yeah, and then in 2003, I had to leave Zimbabwe, which was very hard for me and for my family, just because I spent so much time with family in Zimbabwe, we all grew up such a close family and yeah, it was just hard to leave them all behind, come to UK and try and start a new life with my dad in the new surroundings. But I did it and I got GCCs which I didn't think I could get but here we are. My health ever since I left school hasn't been really the greatest and I can't really blame CF because part of the being it's me who did it because we, we all go through that young adult life and decision where we think the medication is not helping so why am I actually doing it when it's boring when I could be out with friends partying and drinking and doing silly things like normal people should. But then when I didn't do that, my health would deteriorate. Even if I didn't notice it within the day, after a few months, I would notice it. And basically in 2012, I had a pretty big scare when I had to go to the hospital because obviously we got an infection and everything but had to do lung functions and when I saw my lung function go below 20% and below one liter that's when it really hit home what am I actually doing because it's not fair on the doctors who are trying to help me but it's also not fair on my family and lying to them that I'm trying to keep myself healthy and doing my medication, doing all the best I can just to live, to be with them for longer. Yes, it sucks as a normal life, but with all the modern technology like the e-flows and the INEB, and now the Toby Pod Haler, our medication doesn't take half as long as it used to. And I just really thought about it and I've had some help from some amazing CFers along the way helping me on Skype to start up my treatments and also on Facebook giving me motivation and giving me just the courage to go on. And so I decided to try my best and just do the right thing, do my meds every day 
just to make a difference, to make a promise to my family that I'll be with them and show them that I'm not giving up, I'm not letting CF overwhelm me, but then actually trying to live a normal life around CF. And last year was my hardest year. Um, I don't know how many times I came in and coming in for not only my birthday over for CF and everything, but coming in for New Year's, it was hard for me. Um, I could have stayed out, but then my health just would have got worse and I basically turned things around since my big scare and trying to catch infections early. So coming into hospital when I'm not completely unmobile, but I can see it's coming my way. And after a quick tune up, I'm out of hospital, no problem. Because before I'd wait for it to be so bad that I could hardly walk upstairs, I'd be crawling upstairs. And basically I've learned that yes, hospital is boring over this last month, but then again, it's how you deal with your time. Because we've got internet, we've got films, we've got phones to call and I've been not very unwell the last two weeks, but yet I've coped fine and I've just been pushing myself in the gym to try and better myself. And I'm just sick of making excuses like our treatments are boring because they're over before they know it. And if I'm sitting around waiting for work or I can't work, I can't not do my treatments because I'm just sitting around anyway. So doing treatments sitting down won't actually distract me or distract me from friends because I'm already in the house and yeah over the years because of my CF I've had to let go and miss a lot of big events my grandparents big I think it was 50th or 60th anniversary and a lot of family birthdays which meant a lot but I couldn't be there with them but I just come to end with a lot of family help that yes you may have missed that one big event then but you can always make up for it the next year or the year after that it's just how you go about it and you may make some memories, but then the next year you'll make even better memories. So you, you can't, I've just said to myself, I can't let decisions change my health. My health comes first. And if I need to go to hospital, I will go. And last year showed me that and Christmas was difficult because I then kind of clot my neck just after Christmas. I was in for New Year's and I really didn't expect that after just getting my port in December. But I said to myself, well, I can't change it now. And I love my port and I would say to everyone, don't put it off because the longer you put it off, the more you say, why didn't I do this earlier? Because it's a lifesaver. And I used to dread bloods being taken without my port because my veins would be so bad from my midlines and cannulas that 
that I have to go two or three times before I actually get blood. But now, because I have my port, my veins are being saved, and every time they've gone for bloods, they've hit a vein first go, and no problem. It could be because I'm also on a clexane injection, but I say the port has helped just to save my veins a lot. And so quick access, and my arms are free during the hospital, so it helps me build up my strength even more. I can do more things to help me in the hospital. Uh, I'm just making this video because I've had this on my mind and I want to try and change my health because my lung function still isn't great at 33% but I've tried so hard to get back up and I've been doing so much more than what I usually did in gym and actually I feel like 10 minutes is actually easy and this is the first time where I felt 10 minutes on the bike is easy before I could do five minutes, I'd be out of breath. I just kept pushing myself till the end. And yeah, today I reached 15 minutes on the bike, which was difficult. The last four minutes I was really going for it, but I did it. And I proved to myself that I can do it. And I'm hoping tomorrow my lung functions will be better than 33% and I know they will. Even if it's not great above 33, I know that I've done well in gym and just give me more incentive to push on. Um, and I basically try to tell myself I really need the gym, so when I get out, I've already found the gym, I've already called the gym, and I'm going to go sign up to them, and just try and be an inspiration to all my other CFs who have helped me so much, um, and I've got a few inspirational CFs, um, Ronnie Sharp, you're one of my big inspirations, how you just keep going and you've had now two kids with Mandy and yeah, you just don't let CF get in the way at all and in the hospital keep going mad with the gym and running and out the hospital you go even more mad and also to Corey Burgess who after a double lung transplant You've just been an insane man with the gym. Um, just keep it up and you've inspired me to try and be better in the gym and yeah, get my lung functions back up. You may think, why have I been in hospital for a month if I haven't been unwell? Well, I've got capacia bug and the doctors told me a few years back now, because of the bug, it's very difficult to get it lung transplant team to accept me, which didn't really bother me at the time, but now it's getting to the stage where my lung function won't go above the 30s. So I've been in here with a new <coughs> IV called Timocillin and together with Toby to try and just attack the capacia and kill it off once and for all. The doctors aren't sure if it will get rid of it. But if it isn't, then well, we tried, and there's more other things to try. But this hospital visit has definitely given me the time to think and to accept my cystic fibrosis life coming into hospital and just being in the moment and take advantage of the good things every day and broadcast everything, every small detail that makes you happy and makes you feel like you can do it. Yes, there are, have been bad times, but I've picked myself up and I've chosen the happy times and to concentrate on those and to move forward with them.
So once I get out of here tomorrow, I still have to pack up. Oh god, that'd be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try my damn hardest in the gym and also work. As some of you all know, or some of you do know, some of you don't know, I'm a part-time truck driver, a warehouse assistant, but warehouse assistant slash letter stuffer, which yeah, is a very glamorous job, you sit there stuffing letters, but it sometimes is perfect my, for my health. And the truck driving, yeah, I just gave myself a call and some may say impossible task, but I did it and yeah, absolutely love it. And if any of you are thinking, oh, I want to start work, but you don't want to find something too stressful, try truck driving because there's a lot more to offer in truck driving that's actually pretty easy and a lot less problematic for your health because most of the time just driving you have to get out the truck and check the truck a lot but it's pretty easy in my health so yeah um, I just thought I'd write this right see now I'm getting tongue tied told you it's hard told you I didn't talk on video about everything and yeah I just want to inspire people and say thank you to all the CFs who have helped me along the way last year and the year before just to get everything going and I'll be here for you and if you have any questions anything I can try and help you and yeah just hospital is bad but try and make the best of it look at the positives and you, if you get bored read a book go and play on your tablet play on your phone watch tv listen to music but make the moment count don't sit there moping about and letting the hospital consume you because with all the modern technology now we're just so much more fortunate than what other CFS went a few years ago when hospitals didn't have any of this and all the medications. Don't be scared to ask your doctors about the smallest things or the nurses. They're all there to help you. Even if they say it's busy, they will find the minute or two minutes or five minutes to help you in everything you need to make you feel comfortable because that's what they're there for to make you feel comfortable and to get out there sooner. They're not there just to do things for the very sick patients. Even if you're not feeling that sick, you're in a hospital. So you have to be in there for a reason. And they will do it for you, even if you think they don't have time. Don't, don't sit there thinking, or oh, oh, I'm worried they don't, but if you don't ask, you won't know. And yeah, just go out there and try your hardest with your treatments because I know I will and just promise to all my family that I'll be with them more and be in the moment. Thanks all. Feel.